All right. Hello. Hello. We're the International Noise Conspiracy. My name is Dennis. My name is Inge. We're going to host this uh, show for the next hour. We're going to play you some great music and uh, hopefully tell you a funny story or two. We're going to play some Public Enemy, The Clash, uh, Disposable Heroes, Suicide Tendencies, some more good stuff. Well, we're gonna... A lot of surprises are coming up. Yeah. 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 We're going to start off with playing uh, our new video. It's a brand new one called Capitalism Stole My Virginity. Pretty sweet, and after that one, we're gonna play uh, the pulp song Common People, which deals with a uh, bourgeois student's fascination for the working class. So, uh, enjoy these two videos, and we'll be right back with you. Hello, we're uh, a part of the International Noise Conspiracy, two parts, and coming up after the break, there's videos with uh, the hives and suicidal tendencies. So, stay tuned. All right, so we're back. Um, Last night we played a show in Cleveland, Ohio, and while we were packing the stuff up on stage, someone uh, screamed at us, love it or leave it, commie. And that made us think of a really funny story uh, concerning all this, like, the thing with Napster and the thing with the MP3 files and, every, and that stuff. Someone asked James Hetfield about it, because uh, Metallica is notorious for suing people that actually like their music. So someone asked James Hetfield, and he said, well, nothing's for free. If you want stuff for free, you can move to communist country like Canada. Here's a video by the hives. It's called Main Offender. It's pretty sweet. Kill them all. <laughs> all right, that was the hives. I hope you all enjoyed it. We're on tour with them right now. Sweet band. Now we're going to play you a classic video. One of those uh, bands that kicked our ass and uh, made us want to start a punk band. Yeah, this band is called Suicidal Tennessee, a band that didn't make that much sense. A bunch of like Mexican refugees <laughs> with the big bandanas and the uh, Vatos Locos sort of buttoning on their shirts and uh, different sneakers and stuff like that and uh, good guitar playing and a lot of cool stuff about this band actually. This song is actually called Possessed Escape, one of those songs that we really really love. Uh, I love this song, I can't ride a skateboard. I never, I tried a couple of times, but I have a hard time keeping my balance even when walking. So skateboarding to me is not a very good idea, but I still dig this song, so check it out. All right, International Noise Conspiracy, we'll be right back after these uh, commercial messages from our sponsors with some danceable beats from uh, Public Enemy and Disposable Heroes of Hypocrisy. So stay tuned for that. Hello, this is the International Noise Conspiracy back again. Uh, when I grew up in Sweden, we only had two TV stations, two public ones, and uh, up to like 92 or something. I think I got cable back in 92. Anyway, growing up as a kid watching TV, I was dreaming about having more channels, and I heard the rumors of, you know, from the rich kids who had their own cable TV and had like 10 or 20 channels with like a cartoon network and everything, and I was so into that. I just wanted that so bad. And uh, nowadays, I think I got 40 channels or something like that, and pretty, pretty much every one of them suck. Uh, and it makes me want to makes me think that I should have listened more to this song written by Michael Franti. It's a song called Television, the Drug of the Nation by a band called Disposable Heroes of Hypocrisy. All right, um, yeah, Disposable Heroes, that's great. Now we're going to play a song that sort of deals with the fact that why we're a band in the first place and deals with the fact that there's a great new movement of underground and sort of grassroots resistance that's growing across the world. and. We'd like to dedicate this song to all the people that went to Gothenburg this summer. We were there and all the people that went to Gothenburg and got beat up by the police and got arrested by the police and got shot down by the police. So here's the song with Public Enemy called Fight the Power. <laughs> Hi, this is the International Noise Conspiracy. We'll be back after those messages from the bastards who are paying us to be here. Let's go. <laughs> all right back after beer and washing machine powder thingies. Someone thought it was a really good idea to let us be here for an hour to talk shit and play videos, and we thought it was a great idea as well. 
So we wanted to play the Apex Two and Win the Lake video, the full version. But apparently it's like post midnight or something. But uh, we'll play the short version anyway. And this one goes out to Lars, our guitar player, because he loves this video, and he he was not allowed to be on this show because he's not really crazy enough. So this one goes out to Lars. He's post midnight, by the way. Yeah, he's post midnight, so he can't be on the show. <laughs> so here's Apex Twin with Window Liquor. Please uh, do enjoy this one. All right, um, please join us in a minute or so for the final segment of this uh, Revolution Dance Style Now with Buy the Noise Buy more Conspiracy. stuff! <laughs> yeah. Okay, hello. <laughs> the International Noise Conspiracy is back. Uh, we're sitting here in the sofa, having a good time. Uh, we're uh, heading towards the end of the show, and we're gonna see a video by a band that I remember when I was a bit younger. That all the sort of right-wing kids and people, boring people like that, listen to in my school, uh, while we, the left-wing kids, <laughs> listen to ACDC and Motorhead. <laughs> and this, uh, this, uh, the band I'm talking about is of course the Pesh Mode, <laughs> a band that I, I love, but uh, we're gonna play a video, a song called Everything Counts in Large Amounts, and it's uh, recorded like in, I think it's in Pasadena, this is a live version of it, and this song just got this like big anti-capitalist message, and I just love the, the sing-along part in the end where like, Thousands and thousands of thousands of American electronic kids, you know, put their hands in the air and sing everything counts in large amounts. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we're back for the final segment of this show. We're gonna play the last uh, song. Before we leave, we want to say that it's kind of tricky to be a band that talks about politics and now we're just introducing video like a bunch of goofs. But um, this goofs. is a <laughs> this is a video by a band called The Clash. They're one of the greatest rock bands of all time. But we suggest what you should do is you should check out the whole history of protest music from all the way from uh, Woody Guthrie to Phil Oaks to Bob Dylan to the MC5 to uh, ga Public Enemy. Gang of Four. Well, Public Enemy, you all have seen. And, and <laughs> everything there in between, Dead Kennedys and um, all these great protest music bands, Fela Kuti, James Brown, everything. My so God, your name dropping. Check, check it out, check it out. Here's a song by The Clash that's going to be the last one. It's called Rock the Cash Bar. So, Thank you for that. Thank you. No, so yeah, let's not do that. It is 120 minutes. Welcome back. Uh, I've got the, uh, well, a couple of the guys from International Noise Conspiracy, uh, Dennis and Lars. Now, you were in Refused. Now, yes. I found out about Refused, like, like one day you were like my favorite band in the world, then the next day you broke up. I'm like, oh, why does this always happen to me? But then you got a new band together. So how did yeah. you meet up with this gentleman and the rest of the cats and form this group? We've been friends for a long time. Me and Lars always talked about doing a band together, and we actually sort of started working on this band before Fuse broke up, because it's just something that we wanted to do, and then sort of everything <clears throat> came together before Fuse broke up, actually. We sort of had the plan, and then that band wasn't fun anymore, so we just, you know, seriously, like, we broke up, and like, a couple of weeks later, we started practicing with this band, and it was, it was rolling, so. When you say it's not fun anymore, I mean, just recording music or hanging with the guys, or does that kind of encompass everything? Well, you know, it was one of those bands where we grew up together, we did the band for seven years, and after seven years, we, we weren't focused on the same things anymore, and we weren't having a good time together and playing music, so, you know, rather just break it up and focus on something that we want to do, and that's how I think everybody in that band felt at that time, so. Um, we got this band together, which is amazingly fun. So. Right. You're having a good time. We're having a blast. Very yeah. cool. Well, I hate to digress because we're going to play Refused right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's uh, one of my f all time favorite videos. It's uh, one, of my, one of my favorite rock songs ever. You guys did a really great job with this song. New Noise, it's Refused. <laughs> 